This is Ninja Dilly's mom, and this is Ninja Dilly. And this is Chapter Four: Stormy Stronghold Walkthrough of Skylander Spire's Adventures. Uh, we're starting here up at the top, and there's no particular ability that's stronger here. So we've already got Warnado equipped, and we're going to use him for a little bit. When you come down the stairs, here's your first collectible. And that is a scroll, as you can see. You can read it if you want. B hits. B poop. Or I've already beat the game. All right, so we're gonna come down here. Um, there's a lot of repeating of the same enemies on this level. They're not too difficult. Uh, there will be one new one towards the end. So right here we've got Chompies. It's it's. So Guy, um, and, of course, the key nearby the gates. There's not really a whole lot of coins in these things. And there's a spell spawn. And if you remember, these uh, are kind of bounce pods. So if you bump into them, it'll bounce you all over. It'll waste time when you are trying to complete the level for the time limit. If you're getting all three stars on each level. But uh, sorry about that. Not new. We will just show you where the collectibles are. You can do the time limit on your own. And once we beat these, we can turn into a life ability Skylander and come through the first secret gate. So we equipped Camo. We're trying to level him up. When you come in here, there's going to be some rocks to push. You want to push this one off the ledge first. And then come over here and you're going to push this to the side and then forward off the ledge again. But before we can cross, we've got a couple more things to do. So we're going to unblock this portal, which brings us here. We're going to push that over the edge to use later. And this one's going to make a bridge for us to come over here. Our next collectible is our first treasure chest. And once you get done with the treasure chest, put, push the other rocks. Um, I think there was a back rock. I don't know. But yeah, yes there was. Okay, first we're going to come this way. We are going to push another rock in a second. But, you um... the door, or wooden door, coming here. Some enemies to kill to collect, um, more of those yellow orbs to power up. And, uh, the, the more colors they are, like the more like brighter they are, the um, the more um of those like whatever you want to call those it. Those orbs. Yeah, orbs. They help you level up. Yeah, the more the more brighter color, the more brighter color, the more orbs is that it's inside. All right. So now the rock we pushed off the ledge a little bit ago. We're going to come finish this bridge down here. And never mind. Oh. Here's the hat. And you can see there's three bounce pods over there. They're easy to not bump into. And that is all that is on this gate with the life ability. So we're going to head back out to the main area. You'll need to use a ear again because it's an ear gate. And speaking of Speaking of Warnado, Warnado Soul Gem is in this level. Yes, it is. All right, so we are going to switch to a magic character as it shows in the top left corner. They have stronger ability here. Uh, be careful of the timing of the spikes. It's not hard, and it's also not hard to avoid the bump pods. Okay. Uh, these are the first pylons. It's very easy to rotate the right thumbstick. And it shows a little cutscene of the bridge coming together. Eventually, you'll piece it all. So we're going to continue coming up here and fight some more enemies and you get a couple more pilots. I might be wondering why everything's like floating in the air while rocks are like on the castle, are like boom, 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 circles. It's the air source that the draw are controlling. And that is the main quest on this level, collecting the eternal air source to start rebuilding the core of light. But that's Let's part see. of the main story. 
There's a food there that we passed up because we don't need it, but if you need some health, we wanted to show you where it is. Uh, whenever you... Every time you get a turtle air source, you have to fight, like, three of Chaos's minions of what, L, of what a turtle air source you get. Let's say... Let's say you're getting a magic air source. Or a magic source. And, well, that's the last source you need to get in the game. Uh, Alright, here's like another pylon. Spyro, Spyro, three of the characters of the element come out. Sometimes he will, he will always have a certain power on each element. Because of water, he has like these two things. It's like a Batman Arkham Asylum. Like those things are going round, but they're like flowing waters. Yeah. Alright, so we leveled up uh, Voodooed. And we're coming over here to uh, another secret part. First, we've got to defeat some enemies. Uh, the Drow are pretty easy, they're not hard to defeat at all. Um, you can see we have our next gate. We need to change from air. Okay, Most of the time. You won't get life that like that fast because they don't so life that All right, so the air one, it doesn't really make you a bridge. It just pulls you up here. The treasure chest is very easy to get. Now, here's the annoying part of this uh, sort of challenge, I guess. You can see the hat box is up here, but you can't go up the steps. So you have to go through um, this obstacle course path to get to it. So you're going to use the launch pads, but you have to watch out for the spikes. We're going to jump over here and we're also going to collect a lot of this gold so that we can buy upgrades when we get back to the core of light. And we got pierced. It didn't do too much damage, but you don't want to do it repeatedly. Alright, so you're going to have to use these launch pads and time it very carefully to get to the next sections. If you land on the ground, you have to go all the way back to the beginning, so it can be really annoying. And the grass bar you cannot get up to. Alright, we can't use the bomb yet. We just happen to pick it up, so go ahead and throw it. Because, again, you have to go through an obstacle course in order to be able to get to where you need to throw and the be bomb. Be careful to not jump off that ledge, because you'll have to get up back up there again. Or all right. do... Here we go with the launch pads again, and again, it can be extremely annoying if you don't time it just right. You have to go back that and start. Port, that port can be really easy. Alright, once you push that button, then it does become really easy. We're going to pick up the bomb and just walk right over to where we need to uh, blast a wall. One launch pad, and throw the bomb. Now, this opens a section where we're going to hop across using launch pads over the pikes. Again, timing it carefully because you don't want to start all over again. All right, and one more. And now we are at where the hat is. Don't use the launch pad that's there to go all the way back. We're going to show you the shortcut way. You couldn't go up the steps, but you can go down them. You are done with this level once you've gotten the hat and the treasure. And take the wind back to the gate. So here it drops us back. And we'll change back to Voodoo. And continuing to come around the castle. I believe there's two more pylons to lower. This witch is being really annoying. Several draw. Um, you can try to lower the pylon while they're attacking you, but it's kind of hard to do. It's easier to defeat them first. And the faster you can rotate the thumbstick, the faster the pylon goes down. Um, you have to always lower the pylon, or otherwise you cannot go on. Because there will always be a wooden bridge fence. Alright, these barrels contain chompies. So it can be annoying, but it gives you lots of orbs to help you level up too. And there's those Goliath again. 
And got to defeat this witch. There's another witch up here coming up. All right. You can see there's a lot less things swirling around in the background. That's because as you lower the pylons, it is building the castle bridge. There is one more pylon. You can see right over there. Mm -hmm. Once you lower the last pylon, you will see the new enemy. The enemy is only in like a couple of few levels. It's not really in that many levels. Alright, and there's only a few more things to collect on this level too as we come up here. We're going to go in this section after they show a cutscene where four dro come out they and you have to fight both, them. They come on both sides like ambushing you. Mm -hmm. It's them good. Pretty quickly. It's, oh, there's some help. It's good to use Sunburn for this part because you can use your teleport thing. You can like teleport behind one of them and then mm -hmm. you can like kill them with your fire boots. Here we go. Here's Once you break the last treasure chest. Those barrels do not break open money or break open anything. Like nothing at all. Like sometimes that happens. They break open chompies. And here you've got a portal. It directs you very close by. And that is the legendary treasure on okay, the level. Okay, sorry, not chompies. Right, just step on this, it zaps you right back. That one's really easy, no challenge involved. And here's the very last pylon. No more enemies to defeat to get this, but now we have to storm the castle. All right, nothing's flying around in the air now, you can but you see do the, have a path to get there. You can see the turtle air source right there. Mm -hmm. Castles are built, so no more pylons anymore. Mm -hmm. Alright, come down here, and here's the new enemy Ninja Dilly was describing. It's more like a whirlwind. It's like a tornado of guys, like, like, death shadows, like, in there. Yep. And there's two health. Once you defeat the guy, um, a second one pops out. What, uh, while you're walking up here, you can see that... <laughs> That soul gem that is actually a tornadoes. Guy, mm -hmm. I'm. We're gonna pass by the soul gem first because there's um. Timer. You can't get it yet. There's a timer that unlocks the gate. It mm -hmm. unlocks it for a certain time, so you will have to get it at a certain time. It's sort of a challenge. Mm -hmm. But all the right. good thing to do before you like hit the button is to defeat all the enemies. Right. That way, when you do the thing. You don't okay, have so there's the soul gem. We came back for the orbs. Now you have to pass these exploding pods and the bump pods, but it's pretty easy. They're not hard to avoid. Uh, it's just a little weaving in and out. Okay. You can see we bumped into those two. Okay, there's several dro, a goliath, and a witch. Uh, right there on the right hand side is the button. Okay, we defeated all the enemies, we pushed it, it shows the pikes being lowered. Now you just have to make it down in 30 seconds. Who's good to use is people that can fly, like Spyro, Drobot. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't show you coming all the way back down. You just continue going past the bump and exploding pods. Okay, we got it. Now and we're going to go back to where we were. You can review them if you want. All right, once we come back to where we defeated the enemies, now we're just going to climb up the ramp that circles around and around the castle. You'll see below you is right where you just collected the soul gem. And at the top is where you're going to fight the enemies. There's not really anything to do on the way there. And here is the main part. You cannot collect the eternal air source. You cannot collect the eternal air source until all the enemies are defeated. Yep, you'll see three Drow Witches, um, three Drow, you've got a couple Goliaths, the Spell Spunk that we already defeated, and then once you defeat the second Goliath, there's going to be um, those two Whirlwinds again, and a couple more Drow. It it's, shouldn't be hard with the 
Vou 